Hey guys, welcome back. We've made it to the end of the gift card and money holder class and we're gonna show with this video how to make the last piece, which is this little box, which can hold some treats, but it can also hold um, a gift card. So this is a class that I did during a recent Ready, Set, Crop um, weekend retreat and it features the Silver Bells collection from Close to My Heart. I used the pattern paper, some cardstock, and I also used the Silver Bells card making stamp set along with some um, coffee and charcoal ink. Um, I've also used to some of the Colorista's pencils to give color in the um, stamped images a little bit. Um, you're gonna need a one, one and a quarter inch punch for this. I did some decorating with some platinum stickles and you're going to want to make sure that you have some scissors for this piece, some strong adhesive. Oops, I'm not off the camera, so some good scissors, a strong adhesive, some regular adhesive, and then either um, a scoring platform or a trimmer with a scoring blade. So um, I'm going to move everything offside because we're going to focus on this gift card box as our last piece. So, um, I hope if you guys are enjoying these videos. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to score our box. So I am gonna put my scoring blade on my platform. And then I'm gonna take my pre-cut pieces and there'll be a link in this video to my blog post and on the blog post, you'll find a link to the a downloadable PDF with the directions for all of these um, gift card and money holders. I got inspiration for this from various Pinterest boards, and I kind of combined them and how I could make them and put them into one class and kind of teach these five different kind of techniques. Um, so I hope you guys like this. So I'm going to start with this piece. Now, the nice thing about this, this is a five and a half, five and a yeah, half, five and a half by eight and a half piece of um, charcoal cardstock. I'm just making sure. Yep. So five and a half by eight and a half. Now what we're, I'm going to score on the back side of this. So we're going to score this at on the five and a half inch side. We're going to score it at one inch and you can just turn it and score it at you know, one inch again and five and four and a half inches. So on the five and a half inch side, you're scoring at one, and you can turn it around and score at one again, or you can just score it at four and a half. Then on the eight and a half inch side, we're going to score it at one. And then we're going to score it at three and three quarters, and four and three quarters. And this time I am going to turn it around because I'm being a little bit lazy. I don't want to have to pull the arm out on my platform, but you'd be scoring it at basically seven and a half. Or again, we're going to score it at one. So basically we're just scoring it one inch all around the sides and then in the center. Now what I'm going to do is now we're only going to be, we're going to be cutting in on the sides. So on these pieces, we're not cutting any tabs off. We're just cutting in along these score lines and this is what we're going to create our tabs to create our box so I've just cut in and created our tabs now what I did on the middle tabs is I cut them at an angle it just makes the box fold up a little bit easier so I'm kind of cutting these at an angle on each side, and it's only these middle tabs on each side. And yeah, like I said, when you open and close the box, it just makes it easier. So that's what I'll do. And now I'm just gonna fold on all my score lines, creating my tabs. I'm just gonna fold this down, and you can use a bone folder for, to this, or you can use your own, you can use your fingertips or whatever. I just don't have my bone folder handy right now, so I'm not going to pull it out. So I'm folding everything in on my score lines. I'm just going to finish folding this. 
And this is basically, so this is taking one sheet of paper to create a box. And it's kind of a fun thing to do, you know, easy for, you know, sharing some fun candy treats or a gift card holder. So there's scored. Now what I'm doing is I'm folding this back to the outside and I'm gonna put some strong tape on the tabs on my four corners. So I'm doing this because we're gonna be tucking these behind the side pieces. So just on those four corners. So now we're gonna create our box. So we're gonna take the adhesive backing off, fold it under, and we're gonna repeat this on all four corners. Oh, I must have missed a score. And that happens, so I'm just gonna bring this up. So there's one part, one set, one piece. Now I'm gonna do this. And this. So now I have my box. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to decorate the inside first. So I have I have two I have my pieces, my inside and my top. Just try to make sure I keep my pieces separate. So we have the inside bottom. I'm sorry if I'm going off camera everybody. So my inside bottom. my inside top so that's the inside of it now I am going to close this because I want to be very careful when I decorate the outside and the reason being is it can get confusing because we're going to be decorating the sides on the outside and we're going to be decorating the top so I'm going to decorate my top first Pull this up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oops, there we go. So I'm gonna put my matted paper on the downside. Kind of trying to figure out what side works best with this because this paper, this pattern, just kind of is a very random pattern. And then I have a couple little pieces of zip strip left that I am gonna use to kind of cover the center of the pattern piece. And they should, they join right up, right in the center. And we'll have a belly band on this so it won't matter much. So now I've got my side pieces. So you're gonna have two pieces for each side. So you're gonna have front and back, top and bottom. I mean, front and back and, yeah, front and back and side and side. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna adhere those. That's why I'm doing this with this closed because otherwise you might adhere this on the wrong piece. So I'm gonna put my sides on first, just making sure I'm following the same direction. And then my back piece. There's my decorated box. And what I wanna do before I do anything else with this is I'm gonna punch a notch to make it easier to open the box. So I, oh my goodness, I'm dropping things all over the place. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> as I'm gonna use my punch. And I'm just making a slight notch with this, but it just at least makes it easier to open. And I do that just because I wanna make sure I can easily pop the lid open. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create our belly band and I've done this on a couple of the other projects and so you guys are aware just you always want to give a little bit of room with your belly band so that it slides off and on easy. So I'm putting this piece of pattern paper on my cardstock for my belly band and then I'm going to put some strong tape on the end back underside of the one end of the belly band and then I'm going to wrap this around 
but I'm going to make sure to give myself a little bit of wiggle room and I always wrap it around so that it comes around to the front so that that way you kind of hide the seam of the belly band and you don't want to do a strong crease on the cardstock just kind of give it a light a light crease and then that way it just you know that you'll have enough for it to slide off and on and then I'm going to decorate it cover the seam with my stamped image and there is the final piece from my gift card money holder class and I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, I hope you like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much